Are you a civilian trainer? I don't have any awakening superpowers, let alone any family background or background. I'm just an ordinary person born in a remote mountain village, isn't it a civilian trainer? An accident caused Mark, who was playing the game, The Guardian, to travel with the Guardian template. I thought it was a world like the classic of mountains and seas, but it turned out to be a world of Pokémon. Mark pinched his chin lightly and looked at the system panel of the Soul Master. Since that's the case, then we can only use the Soul Master template to add some enhancement to Pokémon. The fictional fusion world, also known as, from the insect hunter youth to the legendary trainer, elves. The strongest trainer in history, and, I am invincible in the Pokémon world with the Spirit Master system. Keywords Pokémon, Pet Pokémon, Pokémon, Pokémon Keywords of the Novel Elf I am truly a civilian trainer without pop-ups, Elf. I am truly a civilian trainer. Download the complete TXT collection, Elf. I am truly a civilian trainer. Latest Chapter Reading Chapter 1 The World of Spiritual Masters No, The World of Pokémon you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 1 The World of Spiritual Masters No, The World of Pokémon, 99.998% Progress in Consciousness Loading, 99.999% Progress in Consciousness Loading, Consciousness Loading Completed, Mark, who was unconscious, woke up from his sleep and looked around in confusion, but he didn't see anything. Where is this? Auditory module activated, a warning sound appeared in my mind, followed by a rustling sound. The sound had a feeling of a gentle breeze blowing by, and Mark seemed to hear the rustling of leaves in the forest, as well as some subtle bird and insect sounds. Is this a wild forest? Why can't he see anything? Gravity sensing module activated, temperature sensing module activated, tactile module activated, accompanied by a warning sound. Mark suddenly felt the direction. He still couldn't distinguish between front, back, left, and right, but he felt up and down. Then, he felt a warm feeling, as if the sunlight was shining on his body, and he vaguely felt the contours of his own body. With the activation of the tactile module, Mark felt a gentle breeze brushing over his skin and feeling grounded. The ground is very soft, and there is a feeling of grass under his feet. In addition, there seems to be something rubbing against his pants leg on his right leg, taste module activated, olfactory module activated, Mark found his mouth slightly bitter and salty, with a feeling of dehydration. At the same time, he smelled the scent of soil mixed with plants, which was very fresh. Visual module activated, suddenly, a blue current appeared in the dim view. The blue current split into two, then into four, and four into eight the beautiful blue current swirled around and exploded like fireworks. A magnificent and colorful world appeared in Mark's sight. The sky is blue and deep, with white clouds dotted in the blue sky. The blue dot green grassland spreads freely along the earth, with forests and mountains at the end of the grassland. As the breeze blows, the dark green forests rise and fall like waves in the mountains the fresh and vast scene before Mark brought a strong shock. However, this shock did not last long. Because Mark found that his body couldn't move at all, not to mention moving his legs and feet, he couldn't even move his eyes. What's wrong with his body? What is the thing rubbing against his pants legs under him? Key information missing, system loading error. System reloading. System loading error error. What error? Are you saying that he can't move like this? Mark struggled to control his body, only to find that no matter how much he tried to control it, his body could not move at all. His mouth and throat are becoming increasingly dry, won't he die of thirst? Backup plan enabled, simplified compatibility mode enabled, system loading in progress, action module activated. Body function module activated, welcome to the world of the Imperial Spirit Master. Wishing you percent you an asterisk asterisk hashtag at you and percent mark finally gained control of his body, and then stumbled and fell to the ground. It seems that his body has been tense for a while 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 standing, 
and his calves, waist, and arms are extremely sour. However, compared to the sourness of the body, the mouth and throat are still more uncomfortable. I'm so thirsty. Mark let out a hoarse voice, and as his tongue stirred in his mouth, he increasingly felt a severe dehydration in his body. Fortunately, Mark soon discovered large and small puddles nearby, as if it had just rained. Moreover, more than ten meters away, there was a winding small stream that looked extremely clear. Following this stream upstream, Mark could vaguely see a small spring. Without much thought, Mark lay by the stream and began to suck on it. The stream water was sweet and delicious. After drinking for a few minutes, Mark sat up and wiped his mouth. Just now, I was only focused on drinking water and didn't think much about it. Now, thinking about it, I should have become a spiritual master and obtained a professional template. Watching the opening animation of the game seems to be a world of mountains, seas, and classics. Mark was originally a small dot town swat living in the city. During a time when he was relaxing while doing exercises, he accidentally came across a mobile game called Yu Ling Shu or something. Seeing that the promotional animations are well crafted and he prefers games of the beast type, he decided to download and give it a try. He remembers lying in bed at that time. As he finished logging in and registering for the game, he saw a magnificent world in the style of the classic of mountains and seas, which brought him a great shock. The memory gradually blurred Mark thought for a moment and said, it seems like when I clicked into the game and just swiped twice, struggling to decide whether to choose the green dragon or the white tiger for the four sacred beasts at the beginning, I suddenly felt a bit sleepy and fell asleep in bed. The memories before crossing over came to an end, and Mark let out a long sigh and lay on the grass by the stream. Perhaps it was due to the rain in the past two days. The grass was a bit damp, and Mark didn't pay much attention. He just looked straight at the sky. I've traveled through it. In his past life, he was alone and had nothing worth nostalgia for. If I had to say that, it was the few novels and dramas he had been reading that he might not be able to see the end of. Forget it, let's settle down as soon as we come. In the world of a spiritual master like the classic of mountains and seas, I'm here. Mark extended his arm towards the sky and then withdrew it, posing to get up. But just as he was about to sit up, he froze. A blue dot green bug about half a meter long appeared in his line of sight. The green bug crawled up to his head, tilted its head, and showed a humanized expression, looking very close to him. Hiss, hiss. The four spherical forelimbs of the green bug kept waving, as if asking him what was wrong. Mark was stunned and said, is this a green caterpillar? This is not the world of the spiritual master, but the world of Pokemon. Just now, I felt something rubbing against my pants legs. Is it this little guy? As if to confirm his words, just as he was muttering to himself, a purple-skinned mouse with thief-like eyebrows and mouse-like eyes crawled through the nearby grass. The purple-skinned mouse has red eyes, a white slightly yellowish belly, and a curled purple tail. It is a common mouse elf in the world of Pokémon, Little Lada. Subsequently, near the location where Little Lada disappeared, two brown birds were frightened and chattered out of the grass. As they flew away, they flapped their wings and raised sand and wind. It was the small bird spirit Bobo in Pokémon World, and Bobo's signature ability was to pluck sand. Is it really the world of Pokémon and then I obtained the game system of the Soul Master? Enhance Pokémon with the game system of the Soul Master. It seems very possible. Mark seemed lost in thought. There is a strange light spot in his mind. Although he had never had this thing in his mind before, he knew the function of this spot of light. After those system prompts appeared, this light spot appeared in his mind and closely integrated with him, and he naturally knew the function of this light spot. As he touched it with his mind, a panel appeared in his retina. Mark, Occupation. Spirit Guardian, Experience. 1% Point Count. One Yuling Green Caterpillar Mark looked at the system panel in front of him. 
The previous mental prompt mentioned loading failures, and later mentioned simplified compatibility modes. At the end of the final prompt, there were also some garbled sounds. It seems that I have traveled to the world of Pokemon, causing a mutation in the game system of the Soul Master. Dot. However, how could this green caterpillar become my guardian spirit? Mark lowered his head and reached out to gently caress the green caterpillar next to him. The latter swayed slightly, catering to the touch of his palm, looking extremely enjoyable. Mark felt a sense of closeness from the green caterpillar, as if it were his relative. Then, while he was carefully experiencing this sense of closeness, he suddenly discovered something. Mark looked at his palms, arms, clothes on his body, and then grabbed his hair. He used to have short hair, but now he has messy long hair, and his arms and thighs are not as thick as they are now. This body is not his. Bang, as if something was exploding in Mark's mind, a series of memory fragments burst out newcomer's new book, Seeking Support, end of this chapter. Chapter 2 Initial Elf, Green Caterpillar You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2 Initial Elf green caterpillar after about a few minutes, Mark rubbed his head and sat up again on the grass, then carefully examined the reflection in the nearby puddle. He looked sixteen or seven years old, about 1.8 meters tall. After tidying up his hair and washing his face, he is still handsome, and his body is well proportioned and strong. However, his tattered clothes are a bit messy. Is this my body? He has a basic understanding of the causes and consequences of the matter. It can only be said that the consciousness loading speed of the Imperial Spirit Master System is too slow. It took more than a decade to go from 0.001% to 99.999%. He has grown from a baby to a young man, and his consciousness has only been fully loaded, which has led to his consciousness loading for over a decade like a fool. He lives aimlessly in a nearby small village. He doesn't know the name of the village, but he remembers the approximate outline and scale, which is a small village with two to three hundred households. His parents seem to have both passed away when he was very young, leaving him wandering alone in the village. In my memory, there were several elderly people in the village who would sometimes pity him and give him some food, but more often he would just pick up some potato peels, rotten vegetable leaves and other things to satisfy his hunger. Occasionally, he would also go to the wild to eat some wild fruits, mushrooms and other things. If he was really hungry, he would also go and eat some grass plants in short, survival was not easy, but he managed to survive tenaciously like a wild grass. As for the green caterpillar that followed him, it seems to have been with him in recent years. Yes, this green caterpillar has been following him for several years. In some Pokemon anime novels, insect-type elves are synonymous with short life and will die in a few years. However, in the official settings and the world he travels through, insect-type elves are obviously not so short.lived. The fact is that Pokemon were originally translated as Pokemon, meaning Pokemon in the pocket. They are fairies and spirits, and it should be noted that even some insects in reality can live for several years. As insect-type elves, it is impossible to have such a short lifespan. As for why the specific green caterpillar was following him, Mark did not find the answer from his vague memory. He only remembered that the green caterpillar had been by his side for an unknown time, wandering with him in the village and forest. When he sleeps, the green caterpillar will snuggle up next to him. They often search for edible food together in the garbage dump in the village, and then eat garbage together. Sometimes the green caterpillar finds some sweet wild fruits and shares them with him, he will also stand up in the process of encountering danger from green caterpillars, such as fierce sparrows, waves, and other bird spirits, probably with two strange chirps, scaring those bird spirits away Mark looked at the green caterpillar next to him again. After fusing his memories, his expression towards the green caterpillar was completely different. The green caterpillar is not only a green caterpillar, but also his family and relatives in this world. Hiss. The green caterpillar tilted its head and looked at Mark with some confusion. Since more than ten minutes ago, Mark's performance has been a bit off. 
Mark's scent was still the same, but he had never seen the expression on his face before. Not long ago, Mark muttered something to himself, and the old Mark couldn't speak. What's going on? The green caterpillar did not ponder for too long, and its red Y dot shaped antennae above its head trembled slightly, smelling a sweet aroma. The Y dot shaped antennae on the top of the green caterpillar's head not only release irritating odors to expel predators, but also serve as the sensing organ of the green caterpillar. Hiss, hiss. The green caterpillar showed an excited expression as its four spherical forelimbs kept swinging, sharing its findings with Mark. Mark looked at the movements of the green caterpillar and guessed, Are you saying you found food? Hiss. The green caterpillar nodded continuously and quickly crawled towards the direction of the forest, and Mark followed suit. The green caterpillar occasionally looked back to see if Mark had followed him, and noticed that Mark had been following him all along, so he gradually increased his speed. During his journey with the green caterpillar, Mark once again opened the game panel of the spiritual master in his mind. Mark, Occupation Spirit Guardian, Experience 1% Point Count 1 Huling Green Caterpillar, I didn't think much about it earlier. Is this point a skill point or is it for leveling up? Mark pondered and clicked on the panel with his mind, suddenly realizing something. When he clicks on himself with his mind, or clicks on the green caterpillar, a secondary menu will appear, displaying more information. Mark Imperial Spirit Talent None Spirit Control Skill None Special Talents Strong Physical Fitness, plus Toxin Resistance, plus The Imperial Spirit Master has no talent or skills, but rather two special talents. When he continues to click on these two talents with his mind, further explanations for these two talents will appear. Strong and healthy body. The body is strong and healthy, with a physique far superior to its peers. Can be strengthened, toxin resistance. Possesses a certain level of resistance to toxins and reduces the damage caused by toxins. Can be strengthened, Mark speculates that these two talents are inherent in this body. Being able to thrive like a wild grass without anyone to support and with abnormal intelligence is essential for one's physical strength and innate talent. As for toxin resistance, if his vague memory is good, he definitely eats a lot of garbage in the village and unknown wild fruits and poisonous mushrooms in the wild. It is very likely that he has eaten too much toxin food and developed a natural talent for detoxification the day after tomorrow. Without too much observation of his own panel, Mark continued to open the panel of the Green Caterpillar. Green Caterpillar 5-Dimensional Potential Force F plus Body F plus Sensitivity F plus plus Spirit E Sense E plus Feature Unawakened Special Talent Evolution Skills Impact, plus, spinning, plus, if I remember the game of Pokemon well, the six dimensions are health, attack, special attack, defense, special defense, and agility. Has this game panel of the Spirit Master changed it to five dimensions? Strength should be strength, body should be physique, then agility, divinity. It should be spirit, probably related to the special attacks of elves. The final perception is not reflected in the Pokémon game, but in the real world, perception of this attribute seems quite useful, which can be used to glimpse danger and so on. As for the characteristics of the green caterpillar, this panel shows not awakened. Dot. I remember in the Pokémon game, the green caterpillar should have two characteristics, namely, scaly powder, and escape, and any green caterpillar will awaken one of them. The former's effect is that when attacked, it will not trigger additional effects of the move. For example, flame spray has a probability of causing the target to enter a burning state, while possessing the scale powder feature will not enter a burning state. The latter escape feature, as the name suggests, means that the target must be able to successfully escape during outdoor combat. So, in the real world, the characteristics of Pokémon are not naturally awakened. Mark muttered to himself, 
without worrying about the characteristics of the green caterpillar for too long, and continued to look at the special abilities and skills in the back two columns of the system panel. It seems that the evolution of Pokémon is seen as a special talent by this game panel. There hasn't been much change in impact and spinning. In the Pokémon game, any green caterpillar naturally masters the two moves impact and spinning. Dot. Mark continued to touch the skills of impact and spinning with his mind, and detailed information about both appeared in front of him. Impact. Use your body to collide and attack your opponent. Can be reinforced, spinning. Spinning out threads to wrap around the target. Can be reinforced, stared at the game panel and observed for a while. Mark pinched his chin lightly and said, there is a, plus, behind some abilities. It seems that clicking on this, plus, should consume points and strengthen this ability. I have an initial point that can enhance the five-dimensional potential of the green caterpillar, enhance skills, and also enhance myself. So this number of points. End of this chapter. Chapter 3 114 Impacts You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 114 Impacts At present, there is only one point, and Mark has no intention of strengthening himself. The world of Pokémon definitely needs to be strengthened first, and it is impossible to waste points on trainers. Moreover, whether it is physical strength or toxin resistance, there are currently no areas he has used. He also has no intention of enhancing the five-dimensional potential of the green caterpillar. The reason is very simple. The five-dimensional rating of the green caterpillar is either F or E, and the spirit and perception of E rating cannot be strengthened yet. Investing points into this five-dimensional potential is clearly not pleasing, at least for him now. Because both the F score and the E score are essentially garbage scores, and it's not like upgrading from A plus to S, like upgrading from F to F plus, which actually doesn't have much significance. So, there are only two options left that can be strengthened, spinning, and impact. Spinning is the ability to spit out threads from the mouth, which can be considered a long dot range ability. In the real world, the effect of spinning is obviously not comparable to slowing down opponents in the game. It has many methods to use and can even be used to create traps. However, in the real world, Insects cannot spit out threads after pupation and becoming butterflies. Mark cannot be certain whether the green caterpillar can continue to spit threads like in the Pokémon game after evolution. If in this world, the green caterpillar is unable to spin silk after evolution in the future, then adding a bit of spinning is undoubtedly a waste of water. And, impact, is the most simple and unadorned attack method in Pokémon games, and the more simple and unadorned the ability, the more reliable it will be in critical moments. Although after evolution, the species value of Ba the Dai's special attack is much stronger than its physical attack, and adding points to the impact may seem difficult and not pleasing, he doesn't have a more suitable choice and can't stick to a system that can add points. Save it for now and use it after the green caterpillar evolves, right? Points, of course, the earlier you use them, the better. This also allows him to know the principle of adding points earlier. After thinking about it for a while, Mark made the decision to strengthen the green caterpillar's impact, which is an immediate enhancement. Green caterpillar, I'm going to strengthen your impact move. Mark shouted to the green caterpillar climbing onto the fruit tree. While he was browsing the system panel of the Imperial Spirit Master, he and the green caterpillar kept moving forward in the forest. At this point, the green caterpillar had already found the mature fruit tree and climbed up. Hiss. The green caterpillar climbing to the treetop turned its head in confusion and looked down at Mark, who was smiling at it. In the memory of the green caterpillar, Mark often had a smile on his face. But in his memory, Mark's smile was a silly one, and the smile he showed at this moment was not silly at all, looking very handsome. Buzzing. Just as the green caterpillar pondered why Mark was so handsome, a strange roar exploded in its mind. 
The green caterpillar fell from the fruit tree in a daze for a moment, and Mark rushed up with one swift step, taking the fallen green caterpillar into his arms. After adding some points, how did the green caterpillar faint? Its body doesn't seem to have changed much. Mark murmured to himself while quickly flipping the system panel. And then buzzing, the same roar as that of the green caterpillar also appeared in Mark's mind. Soon, his body also fell unsteadily in fainted blue sky, white clouds, grasslands, forests the scene was exactly the same. Mark didn't know when he woke up from his coma. He walked in the forest with the green caterpillar and quickly found a vacant spot in his memory. At the center of the open space, there is a huge, withered and decaying tree stump. The green caterpillar obediently followed him, seemingly noticing his gaze and waving its forelimbs at him a few times, looking very energetic. Mark nodded slightly and said, Green caterpillar, today we're going to practice, impact. Hiss. The green caterpillar nodded obediently. Mark pinched his chin lightly and said, Impact, as the name suggests, is to use all of his body strength to make a heavy impact on the opponent. I don't really understand the specific principle. However, I am a small dot town SWAT after all, and I still have some knowledge accumulation. I can try to analyze it. I think that in order to increase the power of impact, one should concentrate the body strength into a hole, and then concentrate the force into one point, using this point to attack the opponent. In addition, during the impact, you should give it your all, but you cannot really use your full strength. You should leave some extra force to adapt according to the situation after the impact the green caterpillar raised its head and listened attentively to Mark's words. Its expression was somewhat confused, as if it didn't understand much. Mark said, all right, don't worry too much if you can't figure it out. No matter how much you think, why not practice it in practice? I'll demonstrate it first, and you can imitate my movements once. Bang. Bang. Mark and the green caterpillar collided with the tree stump one after another. Mark murmured softly, my demonstration just now was a bit lacking in meaning. It seems that we still need to slowly explore this impact together. Hiss. Hiss. Mark smiled and said, then let's continue. Each person and insect kept hitting the wooden stake. From sunrise to sunset, one person and one insect finally lay exhausted in the open space next to the tree stump, green caterpillar, let's continue tomorrow. Hiss. The moon sets and the sun rises, and another day arrives. Mark and the green caterpillar continued to output towards the wooden stake, practicing collisions. One day another day on that day, there was a huge rainstorm, but one person and one insect were not absent. They were still pounding against the tree stumps in the rainstorm. Unconsciously, the weather turned cooler, and the trees in the forest began to wither, with golden leaves constantly falling. The weather is still getting colder, a fine snowfall is falling from the sky, and one person and one insect still haven't stopped. As the impact of the green caterpillar became more proficient, Mark no longer demonstrated the impact, but simply accompanied the green caterpillar to practice and provide guidance on the side. Subsequently, spring arrived and all things revived. In summer, the rainstorm in this summer was surprisingly much. Autumn has arrived again unconsciously. The four seasons rotate, and time passes by. The surrounding scene is constantly changing, with only Mark and the green caterpillar practicing and colliding constantly remaining unchanged. Bang! 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 The rhythmic sound of collisions kept coming in. On the empty ground, Mark still looked thoughtful, lightly pinching his chin, analyzing the shortcomings of the green caterpillar's recent impacts. The green caterpillar should have been continuously hitting the tree stump at this moment, but suddenly stopped in a daze. Hiss. Hiss. The green caterpillar was jumping excitedly, as if it had discovered something, looking very excited. Mark turned his head to look at the green caterpillar and saw that it had once again charged towards the tree stump. 
The green hair condenses the strength of the whole body into a whole, and concentrates the power that transforms into a whole at a single point. A strange warm current gushes out from its muscles and blood boom. This is a completely different impact, the green caterpillar is like a fierce shell, fiercely bombarding the wooden stake, countless dead wood fragments falling freely, and smoke and dust scattered everywhere the strong smoke and dust from the broken wood obscured Mark's vision. He tried hard to see the green caterpillar that had completed the impact, but felt a bit dazed and dizzy. His vision also became increasingly blurred. Then Mark woke up. Not only Mark, but also the green caterpillar he held in his arms woke up. Mark half opened his mouth, practicing the collision was like a dream, but surprisingly clear, even clearer than Mark's own memory. He vividly remembered the time spent in that memory, even the number of times he collided with the green caterpillar. He practiced with the green caterpillar for three years, five months, and 20.7 days, conducting a total of 1149620 impacts. The green caterpillar crawled out of Mark's arms. Over the past three years of impact memories, not only Mark but also the green caterpillar vividly remembers. However, compared to Mark, the green caterpillar clearly has some confusion about the situation. Didn't it just climb a tree to pick fruits? Why is there an extra memory of practicing collision with the owner and practicing it for a long time? Is it just a dream? But what is the warm current that faintly appears in its body? The green caterpillar tilted its head, looking at the fruit tree ahead in confusion. It rubbed its head with its forelimbs, but still couldn't figure out the situation. Forget it, let's give it a try. The green caterpillar took a few steps back and then began to gather energy. It recalled the key points of the impact, consolidating its body strength into a whole, and then concentrating the condensed strength at a point in its body. That warm current also appeared at this moment whoosh, like an emerald green shell, the green caterpillar suddenly leapt out and fiercely collided with the fruit tree ahead. Boom! Accompanied by a violent collision sound, the unnamed fruit tree with the thickness of the bucket snapped in response. The green caterpillar stood by the broken tree rubbing its head with its legs, possibly due to the reaction force of the impact. It felt a bit dizzy, but besides that, it still didn't understand the situation and felt like its brain was in a mess. End of this chapter. Chapter 4 Impact Training Method You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 Impact Training Method Beside the broken fruit tree, Green Hair still had a bewildered expression on his face when suddenly he heard a rumbling sound like thunder. Hiss. The green caterpillar raises its head, and the Y-dot-shaped red antennae on its forehead rotate like antennas, searching for the source of muffled thunder. Sweeping around in all directions, without any notice, the green caterpillar lowered its head and looked at its convulsing and wriggling abdomen. It was another thunderous growl. Without giving the green caterpillar further time to think, a strong sense of hunger surged from its abdomen. Although it has been with Mark for so many years and he often goes hungry, this strong hunger sensation is still the first time. The green caterpillar feels like it can even eat a big mountain. It's not only the green caterpillar that produces hunger, but also Mark not far away. After waking up from his dream, he didn't feel anything at first, but soon he felt unbearable hunger. Fortunately, the food is not far away. Hungry people and insects rush to the fruit tree at the same time, feasting on it. The shape of the fruit has a mango-like feel, and the taste and texture are similar, but the skin is thinner and the core is not flat, but spherical. Mark will try to peel mangoes when he starts eating them, after all, eating mangoes requires peeling them off. Later on, he found out that his eating efficiency was too slow and he decided to eat even the skin. Although the skin was a bit astringent, he was too hungry to take care of so much. Compared to Mark, green caterpillars feed more thoroughly. Mark only eats the skin together, while green hair eats the fruit in one bite and chews it in his mouth. Then he swallows the flesh and kernels, and the fragments of the fruit core are spit out like watermelon seeds. I don't know how long it has been. 
Mark ate dozens of fruits in a row. There was a noticeable feeling of hunger in his abdomen, but it was no longer as severe as it was at the beginning. Mark also began to ponder why he and the green caterpillar had become like this. So it seems that the dreamlike experience after adding some points will cause our bodies to consume a lot of energy and need to be replenished. Hey, green caterpillar, your body seems to have grown a circle. Mark looked at the green caterpillar next to him. The green caterpillar is a small insect type elf, usually between 30 cm and 50 cm in size. Mark's green caterpillar has a body size of about 40 cm, making it one of the top green caterpillars in size. At this point, this green caterpillar has a body shape of half a meter, which can be considered a large green caterpillar. Hiss. Upon hearing Mark's words, the green caterpillar looked at its body with a puzzled expression, and it also noticed that its body had grown larger. However, this doubt did not last long. The stomach was too hungry, and it quickly wolfed down the fruit again. It can be seen that the green caterpillar is clearly more hungry than Mark. Mark pinched his chin lightly and said, It seems that this time adding more points will have a greater impact on the green caterpillar than I do, so it needs to supplement a lot of nutrients. Mark looked at his stomach as he spoke. Although he had eaten dozens of fruits, his stomach only slightly bulged. The same goes for green caterpillars, with no significant changes in their abdomen. You should know that the green caterpillar has eaten at least a hundred fruits. More than a hundred fruits, even the fruit core fragments spit out by the green caterpillar are piled up in a small pile, and these fruits have far exceeded the weight of the green caterpillar. However, as Mark gently lifted the green caterpillar, he did not feel any heaviness. Undoubtedly, this should have been influenced by the addition of points. Mark murmured to himself and opened the system panel of the green caterpillar. Green caterpillar 5 dimensional potential. Force. F. Body. F. Sensitivity. F. Plus. Spirit. E. Sense. E. Plus. Feature. Unawakened. Special ability. Evolution. Skills. Impact, accumulated strike, spinning, as Mark guessed before adding points, after using points, the five-dimensional potential and the plus, after the skill disappear. The only point is exhausted, so it is naturally impossible to add points. And the skill of the green caterpillar, impact, after being reinforced, becomes, impact, accumulated strike. After adding points, an affix was generated inside, impact, which refers to a strong attack after accumulating power. Mark murmured softly as he opened the description of the impact with his mind. Impact, accumulated strike. The body's strength is condensed into a hole, and then the condensed force is converged into a point to hit the target. Due to the residual force left during the impact process, both the accuracy of the impact and the skill connection after the impact have good performance. The disadvantage is that the body's strength needs to be accumulated before the impact, and if used hastily, the impact power will be greatly reduced. Watching the description of the impact, Mark opened his mouth slightly. It's not that there's anything wrong with the description of the skills. But it's the description of this skill, which Mark practiced with the green caterpillar in his dream for over three years. He taught the green caterpillar little by little in his dream with the knowledge of the small dot town swat. Consolidate the strength of the body into a whole, and then converge the cohesive force into one point, using this point to collide. During the impact process, some extra force should be left to cope with the subsequent situation. On the first day of training with the green caterpillar, he came up with this theory of impact. After three and a half years of impact practice, he also consistently implemented this theory. The enhancement of this skill is like it was obtained by me personally training the green caterpillar. Three and a half years of training experience flashed through Mark's mind like a horse lantern. Mark looked at the green caterpillar that was still eating fruits, walked to the cut end of the fruit tree not far away, reached out to touch the broken area, and a few pieces of wood chip stuck to his fingers. The process of the green caterpillar's impact gradually reappeared in his mind. 
Without mentioning the power of point breaking, as far as the power technique of impact is concerned, it is undoubtedly what he taught the green caterpillar. Mark frowned and pondered for a moment before continuing to flip through the system panel of the green caterpillar. Suddenly, he noticed something and flipped the system panel to the homepage and his own page. Mark, Occupation Spirit Guardian, Experience 4% Points None, Yuling Green Caterpillar Mark Imperial Spirit Talent None, Spirit Defense Skill Impact Training Method, Accumulated Power Strike, Special Strong Physical Fitness, Toxin Resistance, the information on the system panel is clear and distinct, with two differences in total. Firstly, the experience value of the main panel has increased, from 1% at the beginning to 4%. Secondly, his spirit control skills are no longer empty, and now he has an additional, impact training method, accumulated strike. As we further clicked with our minds, detailed information about the impact training method, accumulated strike, also came to our attention. Impact Training Method, Aggressive Attack It can teach the target impact skills and increase the efficiency of target impact training, with a certain probability of enabling the target to understand aggressive attack techniques. This is clearly the method I used to train the green caterpillar in my dreams. I directly replicated the method used in my dreams to train the elves. Why does it form a spirit defense skill? Is this skill necessary to exist? Mark muttered to himself, suddenly feeling a slight contraction in his pupils, end of this chapter. Chapter 5 Methods for Increasing Experience You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 Methods for Increasing Experience The reason for Mark's pupils shrinking is simple. He found the reason why the skill, impact training method, accumulated strike, appeared on the system panel. Because he has already mastered the impact training method, accumulated strike. It's not that he understands the principles of training and how to teach elves, but that he has mastered a practical skill and knows how to use it. If he were to describe it, it would be like mastering a supernatural power. Mark walked up to the green caterpillar eating fruit not far away and reached out to press its head. A strange warm current surged from his brain to his palm, and then passed through his palm to the mind of the green caterpillar. Hiss. The green caterpillar raised its head and looked at Mark in confusion. Shortly after Mark's palm touched his head, a scene appeared in his mind about some technical points related to impact. Compared to its previous dream memories, Mark's teaching this time is clearer, and the analysis of the impact principle is easier to understand. In addition, it has also gained some new insights. If improved, its impact may become better. The green caterpillar has an impulse to practice immediately. However, now is clearly not the time for training. Because it's too hungry now. The green caterpillar looked at Mark and said, Hiss, hiss. Mark withdrew his palm from the top of the green caterpillar's head and said, Are you saying you need to eat first and then practice hitting after finishing? Hiss. The green caterpillar nodded continuously and ate the fruit at a faster speed. Mark pinched his chin lightly, and at this point, the reason why he and the green caterpillar would feel hungry after adding points has been found. It's not just because he experienced that dream with the green caterpillar, but also because his body has been strengthened with the green caterpillar, so he needs to supplement nutrients. The green caterpillar's impact move becomes stronger, and it gains an ability to teach elves. By one get one free, I added some points to the elf skills, but unexpectedly obtained a spirit master skill for me. I don't know if this process can be replicated, if it can. I still need to experiment. If my estimation is good, when the experience reaches 100%, I will gain a new point. As for the method of increasing experience, the principle has not been found yet but it has been determined that it can increase. The increase in experience from the initial 1% to the current 4% must follow a certain pattern. Mark stopped muttering to himself. Because Mark found that the experience value on the system panel is increasing. Yes, experience is on the rise. Under the experience section of the system panel, 
there is an experience bar that can be enlarged when touched with your mind. After Mark magnified the experience bar 50 times, he could clearly see that the experience bar was gradually increasing at a turtle speed. Through careful observation, Mark found that the experience bar of turtle speed rise has a certain rhythm. Every time it rises for a while, it pauses for a few seconds before continuing to rise at turtle speed. This rhythm Mark, lost in thought, walked up to the green caterpillar and held down the fruit that the caterpillar was about to put into his mouth. Hiss. I'll keep you waiting for a while. All right, you can continue eating. Hiss, hiss, hiss. Aha, uh -huh, once you're full, we'll go practice hitting. Hiss. The green caterpillar stretched out its forelimbs, posing as a hard-working figure, and then once again started eating the fruit. Mark looked at the changes in the experience bar on the system panel and raised his eyebrows slightly. If he observes well, the reason for the increase in the experience bar is eating, and as the green caterpillar absorbs nutrients from the fruit, the experience bar will slowly grow. As for the rhythm change of the experience bar rising, it is also because of this. The green caterpillar pauses for a while to spit out the fruit core after swallowing a fruit. So, what if he also eats together? Thinking of this, Mark immediately picked up a few fruits and started eating them in big gulps. As he guessed, the rate of increase in the experience bar was slightly faster during his process of swallowing the fruit. Mark didn't stop testing, looked around, and found several weeds to pull out. In fact, it cannot be said to be a weed, because this kind of grass has been eaten by Mark in his memory. When he can't bear being hungry, he and the green caterpillar will eat this kind of grass to satisfy their hunger. The shape of the grass is somewhat similar to that of leeks, and it tastes like water spinach, but it is slightly bitter. Mark chewed and swallowed while observing the changes in the experience bar. When he eats this kind of grass, the growth rate of the experience bar is indeed faster, but it is clearly not as fast as eating fruits. That is to say, the experience provided by different foods varies, and the more nutritious the food, the higher the experience provided. Mark continued to swallow other types of weeds, further verifying his hypothesis. A few hours later, the fruit trees that were broken by the green caterpillar were almost eaten up, and the green caterpillar finally had enough to eat. After eating hundreds of fruits, the green caterpillar's body grew a small part again. Previously, it had reached a length of half a meter and became a large green caterpillar. After several hours of feeding, the green caterpillar's body had grown to about 65 centimeters, making it a rare giant green caterpillar in the forest. After these few hours of eating, the experience bar also increased to 12%. At this point, the rapid rise of experience bars has also come to an end. Mark roughly estimated that it would take him and the green caterpillar two to three months to increase their experience to 100% if they were fed normally. This speed cannot be said to be slow, but it cannot be said to be fast either. So, if you want to improve the speed of experience acquisition, you must increase your food intake with the green caterpillar, and do some exercise on a daily basis to accelerate the body's consumption. In addition, obtaining new elves and making them his royal spirits is also a good choice. Unfortunately, he currently doesn't know how to make other elves his royal spirits, I don't know if it's okay to use Pokemon balls to catch Pokemon. Hiss, hiss. Mark, who murmured to himself, was interrupted by the call of the green caterpillar. He turned his head and saw the green caterpillar displaying a spirited expression. Mark raised his eyebrows and said, Are you saying you're already full and want to practice hitting now? Hiss. Mark smiled and said, Okay, but if we continue practicing impact, it's not appropriate to target trees with the destructive power of your current impact. Let me think. Memories quickly flashed through Mark's mind, and he quickly thought of a location. Mark said, I remember there was a pile of random stones near the village and practicing with the stones there should be better. However, stones are much harder than wood, and hitting them may be very painful. Can you do that? Hiss. 
The green caterpillar gave a positive response and immediately ran towards the path leading to the pile of rubble. It is obvious that the green caterpillar also remembers the location of the chaotic rock pile. Hiss. Discovering that Mark had not kept up for a long time, the green caterpillar made a sound urging him. Mark shook his head, quickly caught up with the green caterpillar, and then followed it to a small run. End of this chapter. Chapter 6 The liver is done. You are listening at novelfull.audio. The source has no content or has errors. Chapter 7 Daoguan League and Ability Awakening Test You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 7 Daoguan League and Ability Awakening Test Several children are all in their early twenties, or at the age of twelve or three. Except for a child wearing a black t-shirt, most of them were dressed in a white vest and shorts, holding a net bag insect cage as a bug-catching boy. Two of the children had a red and white Pokémon ball hanging from their waist, and next to them was a brown-yellow insect-type Pokémon with silver-pointed horns on its head. It is the unicorn beetle, which is also the initial form of the popular elf hornet. In memory, Mark had almost no interaction with the children in the village. This is also the case at this time. Several insect-catching youths in the village ran over because they saw him from a distance, possibly thinking he was a companion in the village. However, after discovering that it was him, a fool who wandered around the village all day, he ignored it and chattered about something. He continued walking towards the direction of the village and soon walked away. Mark and the green caterpillar stood in place for a moment, then followed in the direction where several insect-catching youths had left. Mark heard some very unfamiliar words from the words of several insect-catching youths. As Mark walked, he looked at the green caterpillar and asked, what's going on with the Daoguan League in the Fallen Leaf province? Isn't this the capital city? Hiss. The green caterpillar tilted its head and looked at Mark with the same puzzled expression. Mark muttered to himself, whether it's the green caterpillar, the little Lada, or the house bird Bobo, the unicorn beetle, etc., they are all common elves in the Guandu region. Since it's all called the Fallen Leaf Province, the area must be very large. If it's in the same world, it's impossible not to know the customs. If that's the case, is this an empty elf world? It doesn't make much difference whether it's a fictional elf world or not, after all, I can't remember much about the Pokémon plots I watched when I was a child. The key is, what is this Daoguan League? Daoguan League, is it that Daoguan from various places, like basketball and football clubs, form a league? Mark continued to look at the green caterpillar. Hiss. Faced with Mark's inquiry, the green caterpillar spread out its four forelimbs, shook its head, and made a gesture that it didn't even know. The green caterpillar really doesn't know, it has almost no contact with other humans except Mark, and Mark has been a fool in recent years, so it doesn't know much about the human world. One person and one insect followed several insect catching youths from afar, walking towards the village. Not long after, Mark and the green caterpillar heard even more noisy sounds, and as they approached the village, Mark and the green caterpillar saw dense figures. Hiss, hiss. The green caterpillar seemed to remember something and gestured with its legs towards Mark. Mark was puzzled and said, there is a picture inside a square object. Are you talking about a TV? Hiss. The green caterpillar nodded repeatedly. It has heard people talk about the term television and has seen it several times from afar while strolling around the village with Mark. However, television is too popular and people are surrounded by layers inside and outside. It's not clear what the TV is. With the description of the green caterpillar, Mark also found some vague memories in his mind. If he were to describe it, it would be somewhat similar to the world he traveled through in the 1970s and 1980s, when television was a rare thing. When a family owned a television, neighbors and fellow villagers would gather together to watch. The TV in the village is about 25 inches in size, with a color screen. A long pole is erected next to the TV, and there is an antenna for the TV on top. 
At this point, the TV is placed on the built platform, which can be seen by more people. Mark pushed forward with the green caterpillar. Perhaps it was because he used to be a fool, and the villagers found that he didn't say much when he squeezed in. Some villagers even took the initiative to give way a bit. Not long after, he squeezed into a good position. Although the angle was slightly tilted, he could clearly see the picture on the TV and hear the sound of commentary inside. On the TV, the battle between the Spitfire Dragon and Long Long Rock is currently playing. According to the commentary, the Rock Art Museum in Sanshan Town is at war with the Fire Art Museum in Bar Town. The flame of the Spitfire Dragon on the TV screen kept spraying incessantly, looking very powerful, but according to the commentator, it seemed that Long Long Rock had the upper hand. The villagers gathered near the TV to cheer for Long Long Rock, sometimes shouting with joy, and sometimes shaking their heads in regret for missing the opportunity. Mark listened to the villagers' discussions and cheered on, and quickly learned some information. The reason why villagers cheer for Langlangian is not because they like Langlangian or the trainers who use it, but because Qingxi village, where they are currently located, is an affiliated village within the scope of Sanshan town. The villagers are supporting their hometown Taoist temple. As he continued to listen to the villagers' conversations, Mark gradually understood what the Daoguan League was. As he had guessed before, the Daoguan League is a league similar to football, basketball, and so on. Usually, each dojo will send seven contestants to compete in a maximum of five matches. The order of the competition is singles, pairs, singles, pairs, and singles. Five games with three wins, each game is 6v6, with six elves each sent out to play against each other. Although there is no clear rule, the general owner will appear in the final single player showdown, which is also known as the owner's showdown. At this moment, the battle played on the TV is the third match between the two Taoist halls. At present, the score is 2.0, and Sanshan Town Daoguan is leading. If nothing unexpected happens, this game should end with a crushing victory from Sanshan Town Daoguan. Not far from Mark, several insect-catching teenagers from before also crowded near the TV and had a fight, seemingly blaming a companion for wasting time. As a result, the game was about to end and they missed the exciting scenes of the first two games. Mark suddenly noticed something and looked at the green caterpillar on his shoulder. At this moment, the green caterpillar was staring brightly at the picture on the TV. Seeing the green caterpillar's thoughts, Mark scraped its antennae with his finger and said, Do you also want to participate in the competition on TV? Hiss. The green caterpillar hesitated for a moment, then nodded vigorously. Mark said, There will be a chance. They have all come to the elf world, and even if they don't have the spirit master system, they will still find ways to become a trainer. Becoming a trainer inevitably requires battles and competitions. Marx was not left to ponder for too long, and the battle scenes on television continued to change. The Spitfire Dragon seized the opportunity to launch a surprise attack, carrying the long long rock into the sky and smashing it heavily towards the ground. A spectacular, earth throw was delivered, with smoke and dust overflowing, and a huge pit was smashed on the ground. The villagers of Qingxi cheered and cheered under the TV in silence. However, just as everyone was sighing and groaning, the seemingly lifeless and unable to move roaring rock suddenly erupted. It inexplicably rushed to the side of the Spitfire Dragon and unleashed a powerful, big bang. With one extreme change, it pulled the Spitfire Dragon off its horse. The villagers couldn't stop cheering, completely covering the sound of the TV. The final match between Sun Rock and Cold Turtle, the Sanshan Town Taoist Temple also won amidst the cheers of the crowd, ultimately defeating the Bar Town Taoist Temple 3.0. Although there are reasons why rock formations can counter fire formations, being able to completely defeat opponents also demonstrates the strength of Sanshan Town Daoguan in a certain way. After the game was over, the villagers gathered around the TV slowly dispersed. In impoverished mountainous areas lacking entertainment facilities, this type of competitive event can be very exciting. 
Both adults and children are talking about the recent match and looking forward to the next broadcast. And just as the scene had just ended, a dignified old man picked up his horn and called the people back. This old man Mark has a certain impression in his memory, often waving to him and the green caterpillar, and then giving them some food, which is not often encountered in the village. The old man shouted that he had just received a notice that the Alliance Commissioner of the Fallen Leaf Province had temporarily changed his itinerary and was about to come over to prepare for the Ability Awakening test. If he missed it, there would be no second chance. There was a commotion in the crowd. Mark did not hear any information about the Ability Awakening test from the rioting crowd, nor did he know anything about asking the Green Caterpillar. Instead, he learned about the identity of the old man from the conversations of the villagers. The old man is the village head of Qingxi village, surnamed Qian. The villagers didn't say exactly what Qian was called, and Mark didn't know either. Qian, the village chief, hurriedly commanded several villagers to tidy up the high platform where the television was located. He said that they would conduct a qualification test here in a while, and asked the villagers who participated in the test to bring their children over as soon as possible. Then they left in a hurry. About ten minutes later, there was a commotion among the villagers. The village chief, who used to be full of authority, seemed like a different person. He brought a middle-aged alliance official wearing a white uniform with a smile on his face to the platform and instructed the villagers to bring the children who participated in the Ability Awakening test, end of this chapter. Chapter 8 Village Chief, How Can One Become a Trainer? You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 8 Village Chief, How Can One Become a Trainer? Soon, the village chief and the alliance commissioner named Xiao Nian began to speak. Mark also learned from their speeches what the Ability Awakening Test is all about. In the world of Pokemon, there are some humans who can master special abilities. For example, superpowers, psychic power, waveguide power, dragon power, supergram power the human beings in this world are the same, and there are even more types of special abilities, including earth, water, wind, and fire. Some famous Taoist schools even have some cultivation methods for abilities, such as the fire-type Taoist school in Hack City, the Fallen Leaf Province, which masters a cultivation method called Heart Flame Power. The purpose of this Ability Awakening test is to screen out qualified children and provide them with better training. According to Zhao Nian, children aged between 10 and 14 are the most suitable. On the rudimentary platform, Zhao Nian scanned a circle of villagers gathered below and looked at the village chief of Qingxi village next to him, saying, It's almost over, Qian. Let's start the awakening test now. Qian, the village chief, nodded repeatedly and said, Okay, let's start. Do you need me to go get a table or something? Zhao Nian waved his hand. No need, just start directly. Zhao Nian opened the black metal suitcase and took out a strange silver hexahedron. With further touch, the blue fluorescent pattern flickered slightly, and the hexahedron unfolded. A blue light ball slowly floated in mid-air. Zhao Nian briefly checked the activation status of the awakening ball and then scanned the eyebrows of more than ten children with a slight frown. Zhao Nian turned his head back and looked at the village chief not far away, saying, there are a total of 17 people. Are these the only eligible children in Qingxi village? Qian, the village chief, said with a tense expression, I started counting the list two months ago. It's these 17 people, sir. Is there not enough people, and there may be problems with the awakening test? Zhao Nian shook his head and said, This is not true. Every time the awakening ball is activated, it can be used against 20 people. If it is less than 20 people, it will also be a consumption of 20 people. All right, since all the people have arrived, let's start. You go tell these children to relax as much as possible. Qian, the village chief, immediately came to the children's side and asked them not to be nervous. Seeing that these children were in good condition, village chief Qian turned his body back and intended to tell Zhao Nian that it was time to start. However, he unexpectedly caught Mark's gaze from the audience and was stunned for a moment. 
Mark was surprised to find that Qian, the village chief, was staring at him. He didn't know why Qian was looking at him. Because the voices of the villagers around him were too noisy, Mark couldn't hear the conversation between Qian and Zhao Nian. He only saw Qian, after looking at him for a while, suddenly walk up to the alliance officials and say something. Not long after, the alliance official also looked at him with a somewhat surprised expression. On the stage, Zhao Nian was puzzled and said, You said that young man is only thirteen years old. Yes, explained village chief Qian, his brain may be a bit awkward, but he must be thirteen years old, or even younger than thirteen years old. You should know from the chaotic elf tide ten years ago, this child survived that disaster, he was only two to three years old at that time. Zhao Nian looked at Mark with a hint of pity and nodded slightly, saying, the survivors of that disaster. All right, then let him also participate in the awakening test. Mark in the audience became increasingly confused, not understanding that the alliance's commissioner Zhao Nian and the village chief had been watching him. Then Mark noticed the village chief waving at him, holding a green fruit in his hand, as if asking him to pass. Seeing that Mark had not moved for a long time, old Qian walked down the stage and grabbed Mark's arm. I thought Mark would refuse to cooperate like before and need to be tempted with better food, but I found the process very easy. He easily took Mark to the side of a dozen or so children. A few meters away, Zhao Nian saw village chief Qian wanting to remove the green caterpillar from Mark's shoulder and waved his hand, saying, no need, the awakening ball will not have any effect on the elves, and there are no adverse reactions. Let's just leave the green caterpillar on his shoulder like this. Upon hearing this, village chief Qian immediately withdrew and Zhao Nian further activated the awakening ball. A blue stream of light surged out, enveloping the seventeen children present and also enveloping Mark. Mark also realized at this moment that he seemed to have become a member of the ability awakening test. But isn't it only suitable for children? Mark was still pondering when he suddenly noticed a strange feeling. The soft and warm blue light seemed to nourish his spirit, giving him a feeling of energy. Besides Mark used his mind to open his own spiritual master panel. Mark, Occupation Spirit Guardian, Experience 13%, Points None, Yuling Green Caterpillar under the blue fluorescence of the Awakening Ball, his experience has increased from 12% to 13% and is still rapidly rising. 13%, 15%, 19%, 24%, 32% almost every second or two, the progress can improve slightly. And then it was when Mark sought out how much his experience could ultimately improve. Buzzing, a buzzing sound appeared diagonally behind him. Mark turned his head slightly and saw a boy's body slightly suspended, with some sand and small stones floating nearby. Zhao Nian raised his eyebrows slightly, with a slight hint of joy on his face. He nodded lightly and said, it seems that he has awakened his superpowers. Although his potential is unpredictable, it should be quite good. Compared to Zhao Nian's calmness, the village chief was overjoyed. He clenched his fists tightly to prevent himself from laughing. Lin Tong, this kid, good, good, good. Off stage, Lin Tong's parents were incredulous when they saw the changes in their own children. They then hugged each other and wept with joy. Some neighbors and fellow villagers also began to cheer and celebrate. Then, as the villagers cheered, a strange pressure appeared. At the center of that pressure, within a hundred meters of the surroundings, everyone's brains felt a sense of trance, and all sounds came to a sudden halt. It was not anyone else who exerted pressure, it was a little girl next to Mark. Even though Mark possessed the mind of an adult, he was also shocked by the pressure. Not only did his body tremble uncontrollably, but he even stumbled and almost fell to the ground. Dragon Unexpectedly awakened the power of dragon lineage. Zhao Nian walked quickly to the side of the little girl, his face full of surprise. I thought coming to this remote and impoverished place was a waste of time, but I didn't expect to be pleasantly surprised. 
If the little ghost who awakened his superpowers before only gave him a bonus, then this girl who awakened the power of the dragon can not only improve his position, but also bring him immeasurable benefits. No, just hand over this girl directly, there is a high possibility that she will have her beard cut off. Not only will all the credit be taken away, but most of it will also be taken away. Thinking of this, Zhao Nian saw that the awakening ball had already been fully activated, so he quickly put it away and then walked to the little girl's side. Zhao Nian turned his head to look at the village chief of Qingxi and said, This girl has great talent. I have decided to take her directly to the capital city of Ruer. As for the other child who has awakened her superpowers, there will be a dedicated alliance official to handle it in a few days. At that time, he will take her to Huk City for formal awakening. Zhao Nian said and took out the Pokemon ball, and a big bird with a body size of nearly three meters and a powerful and domineering appearance appeared. It is Bai Jiao, also the ultimate evolutionary form of Bo Bo. Seeing that Zhao Nian seemed to be leaving, village chief Qian quickly spoke up and said, Sir, our village has awakened two children this time. Can we set up an elf center in Qingxi village? Zhao Nian smiled and said, This girl awakened in this village, and your achievements are indispensable. Even if I don't have to speak up, opening an elf center is not a problem. By the way, there is one more thing. Recently, the Thunder Group has been causing chaos in the Fallen Leaf province. If you encounter suspicious individuals, remember to report to the Alliance or notify the Daoguan in Sanshan Town. The news that the boy who has awakened his superpowers should not be spread for the time being. Just let him rest assured in the village and wait for the people of the Alliance, otherwise there is a risk of being kidnapped by the Thundering Group. Also, what is this girl's name? Chief Qian said, Er Nyo, Qian Er Nyo. Er Nyo, her name is a bit out of place. That person is probably going to change her name. Alright, to avoid long dreams at night, I'll take this girl away now. As Zhao Nian spoke, he rode the eagle with the girl in his arms and flew eastward. After a few breaths, he could no longer see any trace. Qian, the village chief, half opened his mouth as he watched Zhao Nian leave. Suddenly, he thought of something and quickly picked up the loudspeaker, instructing the villagers not to spread the news about Lin Tong and Qian Ernie's awakening ability. Then, he quickly walked off the stage and explained Qian Ernie's whereabouts to his parents. Mr. Qian continued to instruct each household, and after a busy time, the villagers slowly dispersed. He returned to the platform and took a sip from the kettle, only to see that a few children had not left yet. A few children looked disappointed and gathered together murmuring, looking pitiful. After all, they were all tested in the same batch, and watching others awaken their abilities while themselves have nothing, the children are very frustrated. Mr. Qian sighed and comforted, special abilities are just one aspect. Have you watched the Dao Guan League on TV this afternoon? Only the owner of the Dao Guan in Sanshan town is a capable person. The third one to appear, Ma Dali, who uses Long Long Rock, is also from a commoner background like you. Nowadays, Ma Dali is already an elite trainer. As long as you keep working hard, the future is promising. Don't sigh here, go home quickly. Under the comfort of the village chief, the children's expressions relaxed a lot and soon left. As he watched the few children gradually fade away, old Qian shook his head slightly and said, is the future promising. I won't do well in the Elf Academy, but I have to debut at the insect hunting conference. Is it so easy to catch insects at the conference? These annoying brats. Village chief, how can you become a trainer? Village chief Qian was still sighing when he suddenly heard an inquiry. Turning his head to the corner, Mark, who was squatting in the corner, stood up, end of this chapter. Chapter 9 the Not Simple Money Old Man. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 9. The Not Simple Money Old Man. This kid just asked him a question. Qian, the village chief, was taken aback for a moment and exclaimed in surprise, just now. Did you speak? Well, it's me. Mark gave a simple answer, 
but he didn't explain why he had just squatted in the corner. In fact, the reason he lay on the ground was mainly to gain experience. Eating food can help his body grow and gain experience. The blue light released by the awakening ball can nourish his spirit and generate more experience. Mark speculates that this blue light can to some extent promote his spiritual growth. After Zhao Nian collected the awakening ball, those blue flowing lights did not immediately disappear, but seemed to be influenced by gravity, slowly sinking and then flowing towards the low dot lying corner of the wooden platform. Mark saw the situation and squatted down in the low dot lying area. In the end, when the blue streamer completely disappeared, his experience bar rose to 81%. Mark estimates that if there is enough food, he and the green caterpillar can accumulate a point by exercising diligently for seven to nine days. Afterwards, Mark found the village chief nearby and got up to inquire about the methods to become a trainer. Entering the world of Pokemon, he ultimately aims to become a trainer. Chien Fugue looked at Mark and found that his eyes were clear. Although his ragged clothes were still so messy, he was no longer that foolish appearance. Chien Fugue exclaimed in surprise, Can you speak now? Hmm. Mark nodded in response, saying that he would have to interact with people sooner or later, and it was impossible for him to always be a fool. As for how to explain it, the practice of fools opening their minds has existed since ancient times. Mark was about to explain when he saw the old man tapping his forehead with his hand and saying, I understand. It seems that the awakening ball has had an impact on you, causing you to unexpectedly recover your intelligence. I once heard a rumor that there was a person who was in a similar condition to you. Not only did he gain intelligence, but he also had a lot of knowledge related to elves in his mind. It seems that this situation cannot be regarded as awakening special abilities, but unfortunately Commissioner Zhao has already left. Otherwise, I can help you inquire in detail. Did you just squat in the corner because you had just regained your intelligence and felt unwell? How is your health now? The village chief looked at him with a concerned expression on his face, and the green caterpillar also approached, showing the same expression of concern, as if he really thought he was feeling unwell. Mark rubbed the head of the green caterpillar with some helplessness. His intelligence is actually very good, and he can basically understand human language. However, he has been mixing with fools for years, and there has been a bit of little communication with humans, so he is somewhat foolish in some aspects. Anyway, the matter of the fool's enlightenment has been resolved, and the village chief has perfectly rounded up his fool's enlightenment, not only explaining why he can speak fluently, but also providing a reasonable explanation for his subsequent literacy problems. With this in mind, Mark replied, I'm doing well now and there's nothing uncomfortable about me. The memories of the past in the village feel like I'm dreaming. I remember you once gave me food with the green caterpillar, but it's very blurry. Many memories in my mind are very blurry. Listening to Mark's words, the old man Qian patted Mark's shoulder and let out a long sigh. Old Qian said, It seems that you are inferior to that person and have not gained any knowledge of elves. It's okay, it's all over now, it will get better, everything will get better. You have now regained your intelligence and it seems that you have recovered quite well. In the future. You just asked how you can become a trainer, right? Actually, choosing to become a trainer is a good path for you. As for how to become a trainer. For ordinary civilians, the most direct way to become a formal trainer is to participate in the trainer qualification assessment. But the difficulty is very high, not only through written exams, but also through challenging practical tests. In addition, joining a dojo or being admitted to an elf academy can also earn a trainer qualification certificate. If you join a dojo, the requirements of each dojo may vary. In fact, the best choice for you is to be admitted to the elf academy. Even if you are admitted to a regular elf academy, you can still receive a good elf egg after enrollment. During your four years at the elf academy, the Academy will systematically teach you the knowledge of trainers to assist you in cultivating and training elves. It is very difficult to be admitted to the Elf Academy, and in some aspects, 
it is even more difficult than the trainer qualification assessment. You have recovered your intelligence in the ability awakening test. Although you did not awaken any special abilities, it is still a special situation. If Commissioner Zhao Nian can provide you with a certificate, perhaps it can add some points. I can help you ask. The village chief's answer was very detailed, and Mark nodded repeatedly. During his contemplation, Mark suddenly thought of something and said, I remember there was a school on the east side of the village. Can I go there to borrow books? Whether it's the written test part of the trainer exam or enrolling in the Elf Academy, he must accumulate enough knowledge, so he needs to read books. Additionally, reading has an additional benefit. Since he guides the green caterpillar to practice collisions, it can improve the experience bar. Can he also improve his experience by actively absorbing knowledge and enriching himself with it? Mark believes that not only can it be improved, but the speed of improvement may also be faster. At that time, while reading and learning, he will guide the green caterpillar to practice hitting. The experience bar may not double, but it can still have some bonuses looking at Mark's serious expression of studying, old Qian smiled with relief. It is true that it is difficult to get into the elf academy, but the little ones in the village also don't study hard. At this moment, upon hearing Mark's words, old Qian was deeply moved. Mr. Qian said, of course you can borrow books, and not only that, you can also go to school. The admission age limit for elf academies in various parts of the kingdom of Hia is generally 16 years old, and you are only 13 years old now. If you can study hard, three years is still possible. Am I, 13 years old? Mark involuntarily touched his Adam's apple and looked at his robust body. Mr. Chien explained, no surprise, your age is indeed 13 years old, but you are developing a bit quickly. Ten years ago, during the chaotic elf tide, your parents died and left you behind. At that time, you were only two or three years old, so your age was not wrong Mark suddenly said, I see, no wonder you and Commissioner Zhao asked me to come and participate in the awakening test. Mr. Chien showed a look of recollection and said, I arranged for Mr. and Mrs. Lu to adopt you back then, but within six months, Mr. and Mrs. Lu disappeared without a trace. Actually, I still don't know where Lu Laosan and his wife went. When I found you, you were searching for food in the garbage dump at the east end of the village. I wanted to bring you back to take care of you personally, but you ran away directly into the grass. I took people to look for you for two days but couldn't find it. At that young age, I thought you were dead, but a few months later, I saw you again. I wanted to catch you back, but every time, your little boy crawled into the grass like little Lada and disappeared without a trace. Slowly, it has become what it is now. Recalling Mark's past experiences, old Qian sighed and sighed at the same time. It has to be said that Mark's tenacious survival can be called a miracle. The old man Qian didn't continue to recall and said, All right, since you have regained your intelligence, you can come and stay with me today. Seeing Mark's expression somewhat reluctant, he patted his rumbling stomach and said, I have food there, are you hungry? Mark hesitated for a moment and nodded. In fact, if it weren't for Mr. Qian mentioning the food, he really wouldn't have planned to go to Mr. Qian's place. He and the green caterpillar absorbed the blue fluorescence of the awakening ball, and at this moment, their energy was extremely abundant. Mark plans to collect some food in the forest with the green caterpillar, and then practice collisions with the green caterpillar at night to accelerate the accumulation of experience bars. However, the village chief mentioned food. He had already tested the experience improvement of fruits and some grass plants before, and he was curious to know what the experience improvement was for normal human meals. So Mark followed the village chief and soon arrived at a very spacious courtyard, which was the village chief's home. In the center of the courtyard, there is a two-meter high black stone pier that looks very hard. The green caterpillar curiously leaned in and lightly bumped its head a few times. Mr. Qian explained upon seeing the situation, this is a black heavy stone, not only sturdy, but also extremely heavy. Even some powerful elves are difficult to shake. 
The old man Chien squinted his eyes and recalled some distant past. In my memory, it was in this courtyard where his grandfather's monster lifted the stone pillar and flipped up and down, exercising his muscles like a toy. And then without too many memories, old Chien looked at Mark and said, Don't be fooled. Hurry into the room. If you're thirsty, there's a kettle on the table. I'll go get some cured meat and cook a pot of meat soup later. End of this chapter. Chapter 10. For Elf Eggs. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 10 Four Elf Eggs As the sun sets and the moon rises, the sky darkens, and a brilliant Milky Way stretches across the sky, echoing the nearby moon. Under the moonlight and starlight, several nocturnal foraging ultrasonic bats occasionally fly over Qingxi village. Unlike the bustling city at night, Qingxi village, which lacks entertainment, has always been very peaceful at night. However, tonight, from the village head's house on the south side of the village, there were occasional muffled noises. Bang! 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 The sleeping old man Qian seemed to have heard something, his eyelids trembling slightly. Like many older adults, Qian's sleep quality is not very good and he is easily disturbed by noise. But there were too many things going on today, and Mr. Qian was sleeping soundly. Firstly, in the early morning, unscrupulous merchants from Sanshan town came to purchase tomatoes and desperately negotiate prices. Then in the afternoon, they organized villagers to watch the Daoguan League in Sanshan town. As the league had just ended, he suddenly received a message that Commissioner Zhao Nian had changed his schedule temporarily, and the ability awakening test was about to start today. So old Xian hurriedly prepared for the ability awakening test, and before he could finish his preparation, Commissioner Zhao arrived on a special ride. So, the ability awakening test was held in a hurry. Lin Tong awakened his superpowers, and Qian Erniu also awakened the rare and mysterious power of the dragon. Due to these two children, the establishment of an elf center in Qingxi village has officially been put on the agenda. It can be said that the future of Qingxi village will be getting better and better. In addition to these, Mark, a fool who has been wandering in the village, also became enlightened by the opportunity of qualification selection tests. Not only did Mark have an epiphany, but he also had a heart for learning. So the old man Qian took Mark home. I originally wanted to make something to eat casually, but ended up steaming two small pots of rice for Mark and green caterpillar, cooking a large pot of meat soup, and later not enough, cooking two large pots of vegetable soup in a row. Mark, this kid, and that green caterpillar are really edible. The sleeping old man Qian seemed to have dreamt of something and started talking in his sleep. In the dream, Mark and the green caterpillar kept cooking, emptying his rice jar. Then the green caterpillar slammed its head into the jar, as if it hadn't eaten enough, making him very irritable in the end, Mr. Qian opened his eyes. It turned out to be a dream. But what kind of movement is this? The sound of banging is still coming from the direction of the yard. Mr. Qian yawned and briefly put on his clothes before pushing open the door and walking towards the courtyard. Under the moonlight and starlight, he saw Mark and the green caterpillar constantly colliding with the black heavy stone in the center of the courtyard. Staying up late at night and bumping into stone pillars in the yard. The old man Qian yawned again and suddenly narrowed his eyes. At this point, the green caterpillar practicing impact in the courtyard exceeded the average level in terms of impact intensity, speed, and coherence. This kid's green caterpillar has a decent talent. If we had cultivated it two years earlier, no, it shouldn't have been too late to cultivate it now. It hasn't evolved yet. As long as we make up for the foundation and then evolve, there won't be much difference. Old Qian pinched the stubble on his chin and pondered to himself. Cough, cough. Without much thought, the old man Qian coughed lightly twice and noticed that Mark noticed him speaking up, do you really want to become a trainer after all the hard work you've been practicing with the green caterpillar at night? Makajo said, well, actually, it's mainly because I can't sleep with the green caterpillar. After thinking about it, I came here to practice collision. 
The nourishment of the awakening ball made him energetic with the green caterpillar, and the village chief's meals made him eat and drink with the green caterpillar, leaving him with endless energy. A long night, without practicing impact, there is nothing else to do. Moreover, the feeling of constantly practicing, accumulating experience, and growing is also very good. In some ways, it's very happy. Not only him, but also Green Caterpillar looks in a good mood. Mr. Qian looked at Mark's expression and shook his head, saying, it's good to work hard, but the training of elves also requires a balance of work and rest. Moreover, your Green Caterpillar is only in its initial form, and this period is the time to lay the foundation. Studying the use of moves may not be worth it, after all, the form of elves has changed after evolution, and the moves you are practicing now need to be adapted again. However, it's not completely useless, maybe you can give it a try. In short, you can train in this way, but it should be done in moderation, otherwise there may be counterproductive effects. Okay, since I saw it, let's talk about the impact you just had with this green caterpillar. Overall, it's pretty good, exceeding the average level. If there's anything lacking, it's just a lack of some power. I can't explain it in words, so let's use an elf to demonstrate it for you the old man Qian said, lifting the Pokemon ball. Accompanied by a red light, a strange force full of tendons and flesh appeared. Ha! Without any further ado, the monster roared low and launched a fierce collision against the black heavy stone. When? The black heavy stone remained motionless, and the strange force took a step back from the shock of the black heavy stone, emitting the sound of gold and stone colliding. The green caterpillar not far away initially observed very carefully, but upon seeing the impact of the strange force, it quickly lost interest and continued to ponder the shortcomings of its recent practice. In the eyes of the green caterpillar, the impact of monster power is similar to its powerful charging technique, with a brief charging process before initiating the impact. The power of the monster's impact is significantly inferior to its powerful impact. Noticing the thoughts of the green caterpillar, Mark extended his fist and lightly tapped its head. The green caterpillar only noticed the magnitude of the impact power, but ignored the principle of the opponent's impact. Mark thought for a moment and said, Village chief, your monster power has just collided, and it seems to have a feeling of strength and softness. Do you want the monster power to teach the green caterpillar this skill? Qian Lao Tu raised his eyebrows and said, How could you see it all over again? It's such an outstanding trainer's talent. I thought I had to explain it to you before you could understand. It seems that you have not only gained the intelligence of a normal person through enlightenment, but also become very intelligent. Mark shook his head with a smile. In fact, this is not about how outstanding his talent is, but about his dream of studying impact day and night for more than three years, generating a large amount of experience and insights related to impact. Mark quickly continued, Village chief, actually, compared to the intensity of the impact, I want to improve the smoothness and speed of the green caterpillar's impact. Do you have a technique similar to, electric flash, for your strange power? I want the green caterpillar to learn it. Flash of electric light. Old Qian rubbed his beard and said, that's right. After all, the green caterpillar is not a large combat elf like monster power. As a small body elf, the impact power of the green caterpillar is very limited. It's better to increase agility, which is more conducive to combat. It seems that I'm getting old and can't keep up with my thoughts anymore. After Qian finished speaking, he withdrew his monster power and released a brown mouse that was over one meter tall, which was the evolutionary type of the purple skin mouse, Lada. The green caterpillar cannot learn electric flash, but using the technique of electric flash to improve impact may not be effective. Lada, use electric flash against the black heavy stone. Whoosh, accompanied by a yellow glow, Rada took a small bite at the black heavy stone and quickly withdrew. Almost in the blink of an eye, Rada had already returned to her original position. Mr. Qian watched as the corners of Lada's mouth twitched slightly as he rubbed his teeth with his forelimbs. 
After all these years, his Lada's habit of gnawing on things has never changed. Can black heavy stones be easily chewed on? Aren't you afraid of biting your teeth apart? Old Xian intended to teach Lada a a lesson, but when he saw Mark pondering seriously and the green caterpillar showing admiration towards Lada, he finally gave up. It is obviously not appropriate to reprimand Lada at this time. With a fierce glare at Lada, Old Chien threw Lada's Pokémon ball towards Mark and said, Next, let this Lada practice with you. Rest early, as I get older. I can't hold on anymore, so I'll go to bed first. Mark bowed and thanked, Thank you, village chief. You go rest. I and the green caterpillar will try not to make too much noise next. The old man Chien smiled and waved his hand, then walked back to the room. I was planning to go to bed immediately when something suddenly came to my mind. Old Chien opened the cabinet and took out four elf eggs with the same pattern from it. Judging from Mark's talent, we can give him a try. Forget it, let Mark choose another one tomorrow. We won't have to fuss around today. Mr. Chien placed the elf egg by the bed, and with the occasional sound of collisions in the courtyard, he quickly fell asleep. He was really tired this day, end of this chapter.